All right, I'm gonna do a chapter review for Black Clover, chapter 340, the title and opening. So in the uh, first page of uh, of the chapter, they get a promotional uh, page of the Black Clover movie called the uh, The Wizard of King's Sword. So we we get a little special illustration by Tabata. It's a it's a pretty cool illustration. We see uh, Asta um, injured from I'm assuming a battle, a fight from the uh, previous Wizard King, who have his uh, Demon Slayer sword. So that, that's a pretty cool drawing. Um, I can't wait to see uh, how the fight goes, and actually the uh, just the movie in general. I think it's gonna be a pretty good movie since it's gonna consist of the uh, previous Wizard King and uh julius and yambi's and williams back backstory or just williams backstory where he was uh the captain of the great deer uh, aqua deer i can't remember but um in the uh <clears throat> in this chapter we uh, left off with uh asta training using zetan we see he uh destroyed a couple of bamboos already getting the hang of it so we, we have Ryuya saying, well, you got the bases down. That right there was nothing more than the bases, though. For Zetan, what, ma what matters is being able to shove it right out for you want to. You also need to create an opening so it'll hit home. The faster way to get a feel for it is fighting an expert. And so Asa is going to spar with Ichika. And uh, Asa in, in his head saying, a real fight with Katayami's sister. Those other times, I doubt she was fighting for real. So, Asa and Lee, they get serious and they go into a uh, double transformation. I don't think it's double union. I don't think so. I think it's a double transformation. So, he basically goes uh, Black Asa mode. Then we have, uh, I've got the, I've got the guy's name, but the uh, water me medic saying that um, Asa cloaks himself in that anti-magic stuff. That alone might be enough to block simple Yojutsu entirely. And then Ishiga uh, telling Asa that uh, you call that getting serious. This may be training, but it's real combat. If you don't take it seriously, I'm telling you, you'll die. And so Ishiga, um, <clears throat> she kind of, she kind of get like this appearance of a, uh, like a monster with her face uh, darkened out. It's just her eyes gleaming. It's a, it's a pretty cool, uh, pretty cool drawing. And, and in the background, it's all kind of dark from the uh, from the ground up. It's just the bamboo trees uh, just poking out. Kind of remind me of uh, Yami. For he, he Yami kind of does the same thing, but his face gets darkened out and just the shadow shows. Not the shadow, but just the light shows. But uh, yeah, I I just kind of like how Tabata drew that. And so Ishiko takes the uh, the first approach. She. Uh, Knocks Asa back with just her, just her hands. Uh, same way Asa like just went through like three bamboo. <coughs> Excuse me. Same way Asa just went through like three bamboos, and just like one strike that Ichika gave, which is crazy. That Ichika is just that strong with her magical power, and I'm assuming also with her physical uh, strength. And so we we uh <clears throat> we dive into Asa's mind, saying, "Good one." That was the real solid block. That anti magic took off, took the edge off Ichika's Yoroyoku, but she's tough. <clears throat> and so um, you see Asa's arm; it, it is a bit damaged from that attack, even though he's in uh, black mode. So then Ichika, she still follows up, trying to attack Asa again. Asa tried to counter by um, pulling up the uh, Demon Slasher Katana and trying to attack Ichika. Ishiga just uh, maneuvers right behind Asta as he was striking, completely evading his attack. And uh, and Asta even saying that she's evading it like it's nothing. Um, the Ryu saying anti magic erased magic, so I bet people don't don't dodge much, don't dodge it much. And then uh, in this part, he kind of dives a bit deep into the origin of Zetan. But I think it's cool, you know, to like kind of find out a, a brief description of how Zetin was even created. So he says, Legend says that Zetin got his name because its creator gave off enough yo juicy to split the sky with one attack. That's that right there is just a that's like a just a crazy uh, fable, like to split the sky. Like I just want to know like 
who exactly was this person? Like, could this person possibly be Ryu's ancestor, uh, Miyami's or Ishika's ancestor? Like, like I don't think we'll ever get the uh, find out. But it's just it, that was just a crazy little um, tidbit that he dropped. And while he's saying that, Ishika's still on the offensive. Uh, <clears throat> landing attacks on Asta. Then we see while attacking her eyes glint again. We see the uh, like the little uh, key, um, I guess like key activation from her eyes. So we we know that she's gonna do a uh, a powerful attack. And so she uh, knocks Asta up in the air through the uh, bamboo forest, kind of like uh. Yeah, yeah, through the through through the bamboo forest, above all the uh, trees, <clears throat> but also blocks it with his sword. But it does enough impact to knock him up all the way through the bamboo forest. So Ryu is saying, "Anti Master Tough, she has a hard time hitting you while you're concentrating, but every time, once in a while, your attention lapses. That's when she gets you." <clears throat> Excuse me. And so we see, you know, after Ishika's. Uh, kick Asta up in the air. She uh, follows Asta by jumping off the bamboo trees. And uh, we see in one panel, Asta actually tried to hit her <clears throat> with the sword. But she just directs the sword. She literally, um, like, I don't think she grabbed the sword, like, with her whole palm. She just, she just, like, as soon as the sword um, touched her hand, she just redirected it somewhere else. Which is crazy. That, like, each, each goes to that smooth with it. That she could just like redirect people's attacks, uh, weapons attacks, and then after that she um, <clears throat> excuse me, she grabbed Asa by the collar and then yank him, uh, back down to the forest again. Like Isha get really just manhandling Asa at this point. It's crazy. And um, <clears throat> uh, be uh, before all of that, when I was um, saying what, what Ryu was stating about that um, <clears throat> what's him call? About waiting for a chance to Asta um, get let lower his guard, he says that um, not only does uh, Ishika does that, but that's also what Lucius goes for too. And we kind of saw that in the previous fight, when Lucius struck Asta and he was uh, caught off guard with Sister Lily. Did that make sense? And um, and then we see uh, even more description of Lucius, saying he got time and soul magic. He's as strong as they come, so don't face him head on. Keep on invading. Find that teeny uh, opening, line up your biggest attack, and nail him. So that basically what they're trying to um, teach us to, like, like honestly, like, uh, don't. They're basically just saying also, like, honestly, um, don't try to attack him head on, and use your strongest attack against him when he's uh, fully um, prepared to like counter it or defend it. Just keep on attacking him. You know, with like with normal strikes, and then as soon as you see that opening, as soon as you see him uh loosen up, that's when you go for your strongest attack. That would be just that that would be basically trying to um give Asta in this training. And so then we see um Ishiga still um still on the offensive after she threw Asta back down the forest. Uh, she kicks Asta in the uh, river. And then as soon as Asa tries to recuperate, we see that Ishika um, goes with another Zenten attack. But this time she drops her blade. Asa um, <clears throat> blocks it with his katana in enough time. But we see it did enough impact to knock Asa off his uh, balance. And behind him is the, uh, the whole uh, bamboo forest getting leveled. Because um, her Zenten uh, cut across the whole forest. Which is crazy. Like, that got to be uh, a crazy amount of magic power she put behind that attack with the uh, Zetan technique. And then while also will cut off balance, also takes a, uh, a mean <clears throat> kick to the gut. Which is, uh, like, that got to hurt. Like, I got punched in the gut before. And, like, I, I, was, I, was, I was out of breath for, like, a good, uh, a good minute. So getting kicked in the gut, that got to be a whole different feeling. And so then, <clears throat> excuse me, after Ishika uh, knocks Asa out with that kick, Asa, um, you know, gets thrown, like, a couple of uh, feet into the forest and hits a rock. 
Rodrigo saying, wow, you two really went out, really went to town there. So, yeah, that was a pretty good sparring fight, seeing how um, <clears throat> Ishika fights. Like, Ishika barely used her sword. She only used her sword once, and that was to basically um, create a, uh, a opening for her uh, kick. So that was pretty cool. Because like we, we, we see that Ishiga is a really good uh and a depth fighter, kinda like Yami. Like her fighting style kind of reminds me of uh Yami and Meliona. Where Meliona where she does physical attacks, <clears throat> hand to hand combat, and Yami with his uh katana. So we see, you know, like we see that Ishiga kinda knows well of course she, she wouldn't know martial arts, but Ishiga is good with martial arts, hand to hand combat and with also weapons. So that's pretty cool to see. Um I would like I would like to see more of her magic. Like, what type of magic uh, spell she has. You know, like how Yami has a <clears throat> black hole, dark cloak slash, and all that stuff. I want to see what uh, Ishika has at her um, disposal. <clears throat> Excuse me. But as we see the fight concluding with uh, Asa, um, the, uh, Asa leaving off, um, what's it called, Devil Mode, due to that uh, kick. We see um, Asa um, and his head going through some uh, thoughts saying, whoa, we were using, oh, never mind, he was using Devil Union. He said we were using Devil Union and it didn't even matter. That's strength. And then we see Asa um, struggling to uh, uh, gain his, uh, maintain his conscience saying, oh, crud, I'm going to black out. Wait, 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 I want to know more about that power. And, say we, and then we get this cool panel of Asa, um, struggling to stand up saying i'm not done yet you know his usual line saying he's not done yet and whatnot usually ishika surprised because i'm assuming to her normally a kick like that or any type of attack with that amount of strength behind it would knock a average person out so i guess she's a bit surprised at that but um you know after i mean after asa seeing his usual quote saying i'm not done yet Ishika wasn't having that, and so she just uh, knocked him back down the ground. <laughs> and then we get this funny panel of Ryuya and the other guy saying, say what? So, um, that was, that was pretty funny, because, like, most of the time when we see Asa saying, I'm not done yet, something crazy happens, <clears throat> or Asa prevails, but, uh, this one he didn't, which I thought was pretty funny. Then we see, um, Ishika saying, don't talk big, and you can't back it up, you fool. That was pretty cool. But then uh, Ishika converged with Ryuya, saying, uh, come on, where are you, an ogre? That was going too far. <clears throat> she replied with, it was, it was actual combat, so I thought I should do that much. Besides, he annoyed me. Then Ryuya replying, saying, you're scary. Still, he took your attack full force without blacking out. Only a few people in the whole country can do that. The kids got a little promise, right? Don't make me laugh. Uh, you ain't laughing. <clears throat> so yeah, that was I think that was a pretty cool chapter. I liked it. I liked it cuz uh we get to see how Ishika fights. So that was pretty cool. We see that um <clears throat> you know, Is Ishika Ishika's about that. Like Ishika has strength. She is strong. Now people saying if, if Ishika is stronger than Yami, I don't agree with that cuz personally even though Ishika knows key, uh, the key technique Zetin, like she basically I'm assuming she's basically a pro. Even though she's a pro, she don't have as far as we know, she don't have hacks like Yami. Like even even without hacks, Yami is a pretty good at that fighter with just the basis of key. So you know he can probably get himself out the situation of of uh lowering his guard. You know, like me personally, I don't think Yami would get caught by that kick. Maybe he would have used you know Mount of Zone to kick off the air or something like that. But you know, like I said, um. If that, if not that, he has hacks. He has uh, dark moon. He has dimension slash. But but you know that's like that's like if it's like a uh, a fight to the death. If it's just a sparring match, I'm pretty sure Yami will lose because he's not going to go all serious in a sparring match. I guess his own sister. But yeah, um, people saying that Ishika is stronger than Yami in certain aspects in key. Yeah, in physical strength, I think they might be on par maybe. Well, magical strength, they might be on par. Hacks, I don't believe so. Physical strength, mm, I don't think so either. But like like I said, like Ishika strong in her own in her own um in her own strength, so is Yami. 
So I don't think Ishiga flat out just like, you know, it's like towering over Yami in terms of everything. But, you know, Ishiga has her ways of getting around Yami's hacks. So, yeah. But um, other than that, like I said, that was a pretty good chapter. I'm going to give it a uh, 8 out of 10 just because of uh, we're getting more into the training part. And we get that little tidbit of uh, how Zetin was, uh, what's it called? Was, um, I guess was labeled. It, uh, it was pretty cool. We see that um, Ishiga handled Asta in Devil Union mode. Excuse me. He was so Asta wasn't going all out. But that was that was a pretty cool thing to see. Um, I believe in the the next chapter, since Asta is knocked out, we're going to go focus on the Clover Kingdom. Maybe we get to see Yuno, seeing how how he'll get stronger maybe we see noel find out a way to how she can get stronger because uh you know after after asta was presumably dead quote unquote we focus on the uh, black bulls they went to asta and now i'm assuming that we're kind of done with asta for now and we're going to go back to the clever kingdom but focus on the uh uh on the other guys so i hope the next time we do focus on the other guys we used to get to see yami you know, Noel, get to see what they're doing. That would be pretty cool. But, um, under that, I think that's pretty much it. Um, yeah. I like this chapter. I like how Ishika character is, uh, going. She's really growing on me. Well, she was already growing on me when I first saw her. So that was pretty cool. So I, I really do hope she, uh, keeps being a, uh, badass character. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. All right.